Hey y'all, this is Andrew Brown, the youth minister here at Wesley Church of Christ. We're so excited to have y'all with us, and we are also so excited to have the person on my right with us. Hi, I'm Maria Jones. I'm Westlink summer intern. Thanks for joining us again. Uh, we know that it's kind of weird to be doing class in this way and VBS like this, but we're th so thankful that you have been coming to the day's activities and those type of things. And now we're going to just go over a story about one of the characters in the Bible and one of the people that live that, that got to know Jesus um, in a really cool way. So this is a story about Paul. Some of you may know him. Some of you may have stories about him. Um, and this is him telling his story of when he first met Jesus when he first started to follow Jesus. So we're going to read this story to you, and then we're going to go over some review questions at the end, um, and we hope that you will really enjoy this time. Thanks for being here. Paul had been chosen by God to tell the good news about Jesus to the Gentiles. These were the people that, that weren't Jews. Paul traveled thousands of miles telling people about Jesus and starting churches. This made some people so angry that they had him arrested. However, instead of being angry, Paul knew he could use his arrest to talk to many very important government officials. While Paul was in prison, King Agrippa came to visit Festus, the local governor. Festus told the king about Paul, and the king asked to see Paul and listen to his story. Paul began by reminding everyone that he had grown up in Jerusalem and strictly followed the laws and rules of the Pharisees. He spoke out against Jesus. He placed many people who were followers of Christ in jail, and he even supported the ruler's decision to put Jesus' followers to death. Then Paul told about the day he had been traveling to Damascus to arrest believers in Jesus. King Agrippa, Paul said, I was walking along the road about midday when I saw brighter lights than even the sun. I fell to the ground, and so did all of the people traveling with me. I heard a voice, and it spoke to me. The voice said, Why are you persecuting me? Paul explained that he was confused, because he did not see anyone. So he asked who was speaking. The voice replied, I am Jesus, the one you are persecuting. Jesus told Paul that he had been chosen to go and tell the Gentiles how they could have faith in Jesus and receive forgiveness of sins. Paul explained to King Agrippa that he obeyed the voice and told people everywhere that Jesus, the Messiah, suffered and died but rose again. Paul explained how God had helped him. Paul told the king that everything he said was true. Are you trying to convince me to become a Christian too? King Agrippa asked. Paul replied, I truly wish that not only you, but everyone who listens to me would believe in Jesus. That's so awesome. It's such a great story to, to hear from Paul himself tell about his own experience with, with learning who Jesus is and following him. So now we're going to go over a few review questions, just five or six. I'm going to read some of the questions, and then Maria's going to help with some of the answers, and then Maria's going to read some of the questions, and then I'm going to help with some of the answers. So follow along with us um, as we go through these questions. Try to answer them yourself as well. So re review question number one. What event made it possible for Paul to speak to King Agrippa? What event, what, what thing that happened made it possible for Paul to speak to King Agrippa? Anybody know? Thinking of it? You got an answer for us? If you have it, say it out loud. Okay, Maria, what, what, is, what is your answer? What happened? So the answer is that Paul had been arrested, and that is what made it possible for him to speak to King Agrippa. Now the second question says, describe things Paul did before he met Jesus. Okay, so we're describing things that Paul did before he met Jesus. Think about it. Think about your answer. Maybe say it out loud. Andrew, what's, what do you think? So Paul, before he met Jesus, he hated Christians and he had them arrested. This is cited in Acts chapter 26, verse 10. So the next question, question number three, says, What stopped Paul on the way to Damascus? What stopped Paul as he was traveling to Damascus? What stopped Paul? Anybody have an answer? Think of it, say it out loud, say it to the person next to you, whoever you got around you. Maria, what, what stopped Paul on the way to Damascus? So in Acts 26, verse 13, it says that Paul saw a bright light. 
and that is what stopped him on his way to Damascus. Question number four asks, who spoke to Paul after the light stopped him? Okay, so Paul is stopped by the light, right? Who spoke to him after that happened? Hmm. We're thinking, we're reflecting. Andrew, you got an answer? Uh, it's a really cool person. Y'all know him. Y'all know the answer. It's Jesus. In Acts chapter 26, verse 15, you can see that Jesus was the one talking to Paul in the light that stopped him. So, the next question is, question number five, what special job did Jesus give to Paul? Now think about it. What special job did Jesus give to Paul? Anybody got one? Say the answer out loud if you got it. Say it in your head, whatever works for you. Maria, what's the answer? Acts 26, verses 17 through 18 says that the special job Jesus gave to Paul was telling the Gentiles about Jesus. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. The more you know. The more you know. Now, uh, the last question asks, what did King Agrippa ask Paul? Okay, so Paul mm -hmm. is talking with King Agrippa. He's telling him all of this. What did King Agrippa ask Paul? Think about it. Maybe say the answer out loud if you have it. Feel free to ask a friend for help if you need to. Andrew, what, why, what did King Agrippa ask Paul? So King Agrippa, in Acts chapter 26, verse 28, if you want to read it yourself, it says, are you trying to convince me to become a Christian too? That's what King Agrippa, that's what King Agrippa asked Paul after Paul, talked to, after Paul talked to King Agrippa. And then we see Paul's reply, which is, I truly wish that not only you, but that everyone who listens to me would believe in Jesus. We want to say thank you so much again for, for joining us and, and going through this story. Again, we know it's kind of weird being virtual, watching a video, uh, but we had a lot of fun and we hope you did too. Right after us speaking, we're going to put up a picture, some text that is some discussion questions that you can discuss with those around you. If you have a parent, a guardian, maybe some friends with you that are watching this, whatever it is. And we hope that you continue to join us for all the activities that we'll have it here at the building and then also continue to watch the other videos. Thanks for joining us, guys. We love you and we hope you have an amazing day. See you later. Bye.